Like I should actually go back to wear makeup. So that's the thing. Does anybody like have the same thing with wearing makeup and glasses? Anywho, I just said let me come and show myself to you guys. <laughs> Hi guys, how are we doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm well. Um, I took, I'm taking you guys with me. I'm taking you guys along with me today. Ha, oh, English. Um, so join me today. Um, today is the 25th of November, 2022. Um, and I am out here at work. Just finished eating, just finished having my lunch break. And I have a few minutes, so I said, hey, let me just have a little chit chat with you guys. So if you have been following me on social media, you've realized that, or you might have noticed that I just marked my 80 here in Germany. Sorry, I want to use my hand lotion. So first, let's sit and take. But first, before I do because I have to find the other thing. Yeah. So I've marked 18 years in Germany and this vlog is a little bit about, you know, what I've noticed about Germany and how far i think i'll come back again and do it maybe next year or year 20 and so that's in two two years lord's willing now you know let's talk about my um summary and yeah my uh wie heißt es meine retention my review yeah my review so it's been more um good than bad definitely and i'm thankful for that and even if it was more bad than good i still would want to say it's more good than bad because there was at least one thing is that I've learned I have one more language skill that I can work with. Um, if you may not know, I'm a legal interpreter. So basically what I do is I interpret what people say verbally. And I wouldn't be able to do that here without speaking German. And now I can work in a different country where German is in high demand and do that as well. So and work as an interpreter, as a legal interpreter as well. So that is I'm definitely something I'm thankful for. One very thing, big thing that mars my time in Germany is my mom's passing. Yes, I'm dealing with grief. I'm dealing with it severely. Actually, today marks exactly six months since I last saw my mom. So it's it's really like a bittersweet thing for me. Um, but then it's still in Germany that we made our, uh, our memories and all of that. So, yes. Um, I guess I'll just take it as it is. I'll just take it as it is. Dealing with grief is not easy. There are joys, like joyful moments. There are moments where you, you are just ridden with guilt like and regret. What if I had done it differently? What if I had, I had said this, I had gone there, I had called this person, you know, it's, it's not easy, but this is a friendly reminder to Take it easy on yourself. Take a day at a time, an hour at a time, a task at a time. And one thing I have learned in all of this is you owe no one an explanation. You do you, you do what helps you the most, what helps you um, in all of this, you know. And um, I think I'll come back with, um, with, with a grief update and how I'm doing and the things i've learned and how to handle grief but as you may know i go to um, group therapy sessions now and it does help because you get to hear how others are dealing with it and you take one or two from there and yes 
being in Germany. I've learned a lot of things in, in Germany that I probably wouldn't have learned if I was in a different country. One was the language and two, um, the German way of living. You know, in Germany, everything is... Um, Germans have a way of making sure that whatever it is will serve its purpose and there's not... Um, nothing should go wasted so oh it should go waste so if it it's it's not serving the purpose you have to do away with it so that's why when it comes to houses every every like it's i don't know how to how to put it but i have learned to always put a purpose to whatever item or thing i have or time and you know everything i do has to have some kind of meaning it might not always be good sometimes i just have to relax but that relaxation is also, also has a, a purpose serves a purpose as in for me <laughs> for my health my mental health and whatever so yeah um the grief part and basically what am i going to do today um as i said i'm on lunch break i have to go back at 12 20 the next session is at 12 30 so i'll then have to go upstairs and go back to my legal into person job and on the way home i'll pass through metzingen to start with my christmas shopping as i said today is black friday so i hope to get good deals and um also as a way of running with my mom because my mom loves metzingen oh she would be there today she'd I, you'd even take the day off to go and see what is there and then she'd come back and be like i didn't find much i compared the prices from two weeks ago and sometimes it's even more expensive than that time so i didn't get much she did get something you know so maybe i'll just do that today in honor of her and i'll take you guys along let's see i have one or two things i want to look out for i want to check out so i want to go to the polar Florence um, shop i want to go to s oliver and i want to go to I think I might want to check out Kiss. But apart from that, anything else? I don't think so. I think that's it for today. And yes, and after that, I have to, I might see one or two friends of mine. So Irini is my friend from Greece. If you've watched the Heidelberg vlog, you would see her. She, She's like me in Greek form, you know. And as you may know, my name Phoebe is Greek. So me and Greece. I love Greece. I love Greek people. I love, oh, I love it. I love it. If I can stop. <laughs> oh, I'm such a mess. So, yes. Um, that is one thing. I might take you along to that as well. But, yeah. Legal updates in Germany. We are not going to be doing legal updates in Germany this month because not a lot of things have happened. Um, there are two things that, oh, yes, that also has to do with my um my life so far in germany it's one legal issue that has always always you know accompanied me throughout is um tenancy you know like whenever you change homes you change apartments you have one or two um, issues with landlords and i'm going to delve into that in a different video about what you should look out for when you're writing at a home or an apartment in germany and how to get your deposit back I have I have broken the code, okay? How to get your deposit back? Just have your lawyer write them. How to get your deposit? First of all, make sure you don't damage anything. Two, read the contracts and see what your rights are. And three, act upon your rights. And if you don't have time or you've already left the country, you still can do it. You can actually start writing yourself. It doesn't have to be your lawyer, but if they are not still doing that, then... If you think, oh, if it goes to court, I'm going to lose legal insurance, look into that. Um, it's not always expensive, so look into that. And it's maybe 100 euro per year. Sorry, I think mine is two to 300, but then it covers a lot, a lot. So um, I might even downsize on the policies next year. Next year, yeah. So insurances, we'll talk about that as well. If you're interested in that, please let me know let's talk about the insurances and then what else yes those are the things i want to talk to you guys about and also let you know that i'm going to try to do this monthly vlog so i will have the monthly legal updates i will have the monthly vlog where we talk about you know social issues and um where i take you guys around so you see how the life in germany thing is going you know just in something to motivate me to keep posting something with me to keep posting but apart from that 
yes, that's that's just about it, I guess. And also, it's something to keep me motivated to, you know, live. You know, so I know, oh, I need to create content. So let me go out and do have a uh, a cup of coffee with my friend, or have, go to the cafe and meet them. Let me go out to work, so I'd have to, you know, dress up. You know, just something to keep me on my. It's also part of my grief thing, actually. So not like I'm using you people, but help me help myself. <laughs> So please make sure you watch and you comment. And yeah, so we'll be talking about different things. I've always wanted to do this, but sometimes I feel like, ah, oh, where's the time? Who would watch it? But now, not about who would watch it, but yes, I want you guys to watch it. I want you guys to support it. But then it's more about my inner motivation to, you know, up and act. Yeah. Anything else? No, my time is almost up. So let me get going inside. And then once I'm done with work today, we go to Metzingen and hang out. Okay. Two hours later. All right, fam. We are we are done for the day. Talking about grief today. I'm happy that it's not a day I was staying home because if I had stayed home, I would have been very, very emotional and very, very sad. But I've been able to come out. I've I've heard stories that made me make me know that the cross i'm bearing is my size um yeah basically that's just it what i'm going through is what i can handle because if when i hear the people's stories mm -mm, mm -mm. anyways andiamo so i'm just wondering if <laughs> this was a good idea because all the park houses or parking houses are full and the only um place is like quite farther away <clears throat> i have to walk probably like five to ten minutes before i get back to the car yeah as you can tell i'm not really a shopping queen <laughs> i don't really enjoy shopping that like that i don't i just go in there get what i need and come out i don't like sitting there for hours and walking out no, I don't have that energy so I'm very discouraged now and I wasn't smart because I thought um, for some reason I forgot that everybody else knows it's Black Friday and people will be here but for me it's just because today it's just convenient for me to be here today and I just feel like oh my mom would have come so I'm just going to do that for her like in remembrance of her but um, I've forgotten that there, there was always a lot of people um so i hope i do get the parking and i'll just do whoosh 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 look through what i want to look through and then we <laughs> bamus look at the other place this is my outfit today i have a blazer in here that is hiding itself oh well. i hope they are not lying i'm really looking forward to the cyber week one thing about winter is it gets dark so early it's just not even 6 p.m yet it's five something and it's already dark so, uh, all right abort mission we are not guessing it <laughs> you see this queue that's how long the queue is <laughs> Like few to go. I'm tired. I'm tired. Cool. Ciao. Get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know. My rap, my blood boils over. Like, oh god, here goes. I lost all fun from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So, have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me. Cause enough is enough.